pines arranged. We've been out here exploring today. Our driftwood pine. Got some nice pieces of driftwood. I feel sure Oliver will put some pictures of them on Facebook for y'all or something like that. So check out the Facebook page if y'all haven't. Facebook group page for Salty Reflections. Well, Steph, we can't be talking about all of that right now. We crap. Well. There's crap pot number one coming up. Some people out there are like us. They love the coast no matter what it involves. We like to do all sorts of things. Look, I'm trying to take everybody crabbing right now. Well, let's go crabbing. One let's thing check at the spot. Time. Here we go. Let's do it. First crab pot coming up. <coughs> First thing on person. I see you going back towards the pot. So it's not so strenuous on this old man. <laughs> I'm getting tired of pulling these crab pots. Not yeah, really, been, but. We've been out here all day, so. Not really. I love it. Uh, oh, God. Got a bite. Got a bite. I hope it's a lot of them. I see so something. Too. Oh, I see some little babies. Uh, oh, I see lots of little babies. Be careful now. You bend it up the pots. You were just talking about how your pots are so bent. Look at that. This trout has cooked. Cooked now here. I don't want to the temperature is hot. Crazy. Already? There's a big old female right there. That's that one too. Gosh. That one too. I sure hate seeing all these females in here. I mean, and no keeper. I mean, so do you go without, I mean, keep it anything? Yeah, like this little guy. He's too little. Oh god, yeah. He's way too little. This little girl. See, she's immature female, triangular apron. She's got some red markings there, so she may be about to shed, molt. Looks like one of them pinched this one. I see right here at the tip of my thumb. All right, little girl. Big girl right here? Let's get better. Oh, that is a big one. You will keep her? It's up to you. Oh, she man. is a mature female. We really need her. I mean, we need to go through these crabs and we really need to determine if we need to keep these females or not. She is a big girl. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's take one before we get down to it. Get our insulated bulb on. And um, turn your head around so you know your face ain't so bad from the shade. What you trying to say then, Steph? What are you trying to the say? The boat's turning. That's okay. good. I mean, that's good. Here we go. That's that big girl. I'm going to put the big girl in here for now. Mm. This little boy got to go back. Yep, he's too small, so it's not even a consideration. I guess this little girl. Oh, she, look how dark her apron is. Too. She may be getting ready to molt. Yeah, I believe so. Definitely. She's got your she finger there. For one of those big old males. And how about this? One? She's looking for love, huh? That's a pretty. One. There we go. Male blue crab. So this would be a Jimmy. This is a Sook. She's got you through that. Oh, she's she got, got me through that. <laughs> she broke through even the 
the peakness of that insulated glove. I can't believe it. She's a tough little girl, all She's right. She's amazing. You keep up that spirit, girl. Look at girl. those pretty red claws. Almost like her lipstick. Yeah. Gotta keep those lips painted pretty and red, you know. <laughs> like that preacher she said that just... time. Do you yep. remember what that preacher said? He said, if a barn needs painting, paint it. I mean, yep. I don't know. Too nice one. Now look at here. Ooh. God. This oh, one you're is. not on it over here. You're over. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. But, yeah, look. still not touching, but just checking you. Yeah. And that's, that's a girl anyway. That's a little immature girl. Check that one. Because if she's an immature girl, she's got to go back too. Oh, and what? she is. She's got to go back. That's not a question. Not a question. Not a question so for me. Oh, and you let her break her claws. She did that. Okay, so that was a good example of what will happen, guys. Crabs is a defense mechanism. They will actually just drop a leg or a claw, you know, their claw or whatever when they feel like they're in danger. So that's what she did just then. So we're gonna put her back for sure. She has not been bred before. You see that triangular apron? And crabs have millions of babies. So go ahead, little girl. But how about this one? That's up to you. Apron. She has bread already. She, you see, she's got the, the curved a apron, like the, you know, like half of an oval. So, with her having wow. that, I know she's bred already. From what we've learned, they do have the capability of producing, because they can save the sperm from their previous mating and possibly have eggs again. It's not as likely, but it's possible. She's Whereas that other one, she's gonna have to go with it. Well, that's up to you. Whatever. <clears throat> the other one she's still likely to have babies and the way she had that little bit of color on her back maybe soon oh, she was actually kind of a rustier female we got to go all the way back yeah because we've been yapping two. and talking you know how it goes oh you want it over here Oliver said move the pot to the right side, so that's where we have it. Oh, this beautiful glaze of sun. You can see this second pot coming. Number two. <coughs> see, this is my favorite. So it's got two keepers so far, all and there I goes. Really, all I really want to do is pull the pot, look at them, see what's in the pots and stuff. You know, Stephanie, she can keep you interested in talking. <laughs> yeah, all me, guys. Ooh, must have been stuck in the marsh mud. Look at here. Wow, we got some in here. We're going to dump this old shrimp out. And it's only been in here 24 hours, so. But our water temperature is down. so warm that it just baits that shrimp back in. Yeah, and we want to use fresh now? bait. You know how hot it is here now in South Carolina. You're well, I shouldn't now, say fresh. It's terrible down here right now. <laughs> yeah. You ain't from South Carolina. You darn sure don't know nothing about saying that. But <laughs> this ain't the place you want to be. Yeah, and in this area we call them no see because because they're so small you can't really see them, but you can feel them right. Yeah, it, this is, that's one of our um, true characteristics of this area. Yep. The low country. We have some bugs. Well, I can see. We have humidity issue. and sand gnats, okay, but guys. we also have we'll lots think, of cool we'll stuff. Watch crab pots now. If you ever see this start happening. Get some of them right there out of the dollar store, that dollar tree, and just zip time to it. It'll last about another year or so. That'd be good. Until the next zip time. Yeah, because it just popped loose in a few spots. So it's a good thing it stayed together. You see there was several here. Some rope here. Oliver's got them rigged up. It looks like all little crab though. Maybe this one's a keeper, but the rest of them look all little. Still. Show them um, those shark teeth and stuff that we found today. And that one's a, a little keeper too. At. Those shark teeth were cool too. <clears throat> There's some in the back of that burgundy bag. There's a burgundy bag back here? Yes. 
in the front. Okay, let me hold this while you're digging for those. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, some fossilized scallops. That's a big chunk of a shark's tooth there. Two nice shark's teeth there. Let me get them in a position where you can see them good. And you hold this for a second and I'll have to get the other bag. Shark teeth. Nice one. Love them. Found them on Such a river bank right here in the Kusaw River. Such a fun thing to go do. I don't know if they can see them good. We got to get through these crabs though. Yeah, buddy. Let me show them this one. Look, this is the fossil. The rock. I mean, all these black sharks eat their fossils anyway, but look how this one's fossilized into that rock. How cool is that? Pretty cool. I think that's the only keeper I see. Yeah, that's the one. And this one right here is this too, one. actually. Wait a minute. What's that guy? What? He, he's after me. There, she is. there he is right there. I think she, that's the keeper. Yeah, yeah. It's a guy. It's a big boy. Get, get, look at me with this big old boy. Yeah, buddy. And he's heavy. He's definitely a keeper. So the next thing we're gonna do is just look through these real quick. This that right is. there is the next to the biggest. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's a boy or girl. That's a girl. There's so many. I can tell. You. She's feisty. Look at her. She is something else. You know. Oh, it is a girl, immature too. So put her back. Gosh. Heard another little girl a lot together, but look at those red lines on them. So we were told that the shedding just stopped, but it looks like you. these girls are still a little you red know, on the back. You are some lucky little ladies right now. See. How about this one? We can. I, no, oh yeah, no. all the rest of them are too small. That small. Okay. Yeah. That small. Yeah. Oh, Girls. I know that's for the more girls. Gosh, All those peeler crabs up in here right now. Two, All right, let's check people. the last one. So, or this last one in this little stretch, I should say. Two pots. I already pulled three people. So, do you guys think that crabbing is just about to catch? Leave us a comment. And this is the last one that's in this last stream that we put in the other day. That other one's gonna be way around to the other side. I'm kind of drifting past it. I'm getting a little hot and heavy talking to you guys, but I'm getting right back to it. I'm gonna give it to you guys. Here we go. Number three. Crab pot number three. That was a good job driving the boat right back to it. Y'all make sure y'all give him a like for that. Give him a thumbs up. And I'm telling you with that uh, shifter right there by the throttle like that like, it makes a world of difference oh i see one can... big one that one here might be a keeper too but i see the two looks like uh, these all shrimp are stinky hmm. see the little tiny shrimp and i can't wait to get back out shrimp trawling you guys haven't seen our shrimp trawling videos, check them out. Like it's a little girl anyway. Look at her little girl. Gonna 
Excellent work. Look at those pretty cracks. They are pretty. I'll let you slide that up there and see if you can stack that up there for me, sir. Sure. We're in this tight little 14 foot sundown skiff and uh, trying to make these videos for you guys. A big boy there. The metal one right there. Yeah. Definitely a keeper. We need to put him in the, um, our keeper basket. Hold all of these are small. All of these are small stuff. Look, you agree? Yep. All right. Let go of her. Let go of her. I know you want her. She wants them too, but I want them too. So, we so want one, them two, three. That's four keepers. Three pots. It ain't looking so good. The crabbing ain't looking so good, but that's okay. Just Thanks look so. at the beauty that surrounds you when you're out here, guys, when you're just a recreational crabber. It's okay. Yeah, look how pretty those four are. We're going to eat them. That's right. That's exactly what we're going to do. Thank Let's you, David. Let's go get this last one. They'll be glad to eat one with us. So one apiece. That'll be good. What? One. One a piece. Oh no. Uh -uh. We got to get more than one now. Well. I mean, let's eat them before they get here. <laughs> oh, David and do. Susan, he gonna do y'all like that. You better believe it. Oh. Look at this Osprey right here. I'm salty. on that nest so if you guys followed along for the boat ride yesterday and you heard me talking about those osprey chasing that eagle away this is why because the osprey are nesting right now in our area and there's nest all around this area so they're wanting to make sure that eagle isn't after their eggs or their um, babies if they have babies yet
catch a part of any males here. No, there's not a lot of males here. What are we going to do? We'll keep the female. I mean, all this work I put into coming out here, and I'm going to thank that. It would be right for me to keep those big males and not feed them. You let her go. I didn't even you see did her. You because you didn't have the camera pointed there and she didn't get camera shot. <laughs> she moved fast. It was a big girl? <laughs> That's a big one there too. I like that big girl. <laughs> big girl. Big girl, big girl, too. You have a lot. That's a big old girl. Check her out. Wow. Oh, it is. You tell me that ain't a big girl. When I'm telling you that we called a big girl, we did. Look at her. Turn around for us, Steph. Are you going to keep her? That's up to you. I mean, why wouldn't you keep her? We kept those other girls. Um, that's up to you whether you keep any of them, really. Well, we're going to keep that girl, and we're going to keep that girl, and all those little girls, we're going to throw them back. Just because I want to eat some crabs. That's right. I'm going to keep them. This is a big mature girl, too. What would you guys do? Would you keep a big female? She's about six. You know, it's different than cra uh, crabbing the warmer weather or the warmer waters. It's uh, a little tougher, these conditions, and we're putting forth the effort. We're putting forth the time. We keep bringing you guys along out here crabbing in Beaufort, South Carolina. So that's what really matters. So if you like these types of video and you enjoy this type of content, please hit the subscribe button for us and we'll see you. That's a little boy there. Two, four, six keepers, male or females, it don't matter here in South Carolina, we get to make the decision. Steph, wait a minute now. Wait for the sun to come back out before you start the video. Alright, I will. Just want to give you guys a quick sneak peek of this beautiful view from this angle. Shh, don't tell him we're still recording. Just trying nope. to get the boat in the right Not angle. Yet. Don't point it this way yet. Sun, so you guys can see these crabbies. Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. Got a beautiful bounty right there. Well, wait a minute now. Whoa. Got some pretty pieces of driftwood off sun the bank. Peeks out around this cloud. That's when we're going to show you these beautiful crabs. This little guy, a fiddler. This one's getting me, he's got my finger. Sorry, buddy, but I got you too. You're gonna be fish bait tomorrow. And I'll tell you the truth, I'm thankful that that cloud's moving slow. Just to be out here, it's wonderful. Nothing wrong with a slow ride. Marsh trash we found today. Oh. Starting to peek out. What a glorious sight it is. There it is. There's that perfect angle. The sun is shining. Hopefully, right on this big old pretty basket of crabs for you guys. Yeah, buddy. Look at me and smile real big. We got it. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy. 
Thanks for watching. We out, guys.